I welcome all of you on Europedia and my this video is in fact a very very uh, important video and uh, thought provoking and concern uh, hai mere ko is particular topic ke upar and uh, this is something which is uh, uh, you know uh, very very important uh, thing which is happening in academic uh, ecosystem of India. Uh, Europedia aap jante is the largest platform which uh, push students, which uh, motivate students, mentor students, guide students. Uh, for pursuing higher educational courses whether you are a graduate in science or engineering on psychology or anything when it comes to you know pursuing higher education course with scholarship and quality education your PD is the platform now we are into this for the last couple of years in fact in 2013-14 through our offline modules and all we started mentoring students for direct PhD in IITs after BTEC after you know your uh, graduation directly go to PhD that we were the first to tell students and tell about their you know opportunities now we are uh, in 2002-23 end of 2023 ek month pehle iit bombay ka ek news article aaya ki no student is coming forward to do phd from iit bombay i mean very less students are showing interest winter admission is on iits have already declared their phd forms are out but your pedia you know winter admission may your is the only platform which motivates students to get admission for ms m tech phd in iits and ims and we are observing very peculiar situation this year we are observing that students are coming forward for phd but not for iit ims they are coming for foreign universities there can be so many reasons i, I think they tell the students tell the reasons and you know your is also not only mentoring students for india but global top universities I mean, you know that IITs are not among top 200 universities globally. So there are more than 200 university, good universities where students can pursue PhD. And nowadays, the competition is not that high. In fact, if I tell you, it is easier to get, you know, PhD abroad than to get in IIT system because competition is more. In IIT, they may ask gate and all, but top universities globally sometimes don't ask for any of the exams. So this is, uh, you know, this is a cause of concern. What are the typical reasons why students are not showing interest in India uh, for PhD uh, after their graduation or post graduation and why they are showing interest abroad? One of the reasons is scholarship. I tell you typically IIT IIMs give you scholarship uh, to the scale of 40 to 50 thousand rupees. Uh, if I am not wrong that varies from institute to institute. That is the scholarship they are offering. If we talk about US, so it varies from 2 to 3 thousand US dollars. $2,000, $2,500 depending upon the university. Now what is the repercussion of that? Repercussion is here you cannot save more than 35,000 uh, rupees, 30, 35,000 rupees per month. You can't do that. But here you can save more than 1 lakh rupees because 1 dollar is 82 rupees. Even if you save 1,000 dollar, you tend to save more than 80,000 rupees, which is not even the salary of gazetted group A services officer in India. So money is one of the important criteria. Number two, when I saw the lifestyle of the students there in those universities and in India, I found that students are slogging here on the weekends also, but there students tend to enjoy the life. And when, you know, uh, students compare it that my friend is enjoying there, he's going here or there, he, one, one weekend he's going to this state, another state, another country. So they see that, okay, why can't we enjoy this lifestyle? Lifestyle. Third is the kind of research infrastructure and funding available in those universities. If you see typical IITs, you know, scanning electron microscope, if you want to test your specimen on that, there's a long queue. But in top universities or any universities globally, you'll find research funding is there and even small department has its own research facilities like scanning electron microscope. Publishing papers is quite easier. Presenting yourself in the international conference is quite easier. International exposure you get when you're sitting in the lab one of your colleague friend is from Japan, another from China, third is from Korea, fourth is from US, Europe, I mean a group that is international exposure. So these are some of the reasons why students are losing interest and last but not the least post COVID we have seen that it is far easier to get admission in top global universities abroad. Professors are looking for Indian students and when you come to your PDA, we provide you all the opportunities as you know your PDA, makes you realize that it is not difficult to get admission. If you have no GRE, it's okay. The way we say no gate, low gate, don't worry, we'll 
uh, provide you opportunity in some IITs if you are capable, if you are passionate for that. Similarly, no GRE, no IELTS, no TOEFL, sir, I want to get top universities, top uh, scholarship, uh, that is what we do. And hence students have started realizing that okay, we can get admission in top university, so why not go there? Most important is what after PhD? That is one question which stops students from pursuing this long marathon academic course. You know, after BTEC, if you join direct PhD, it is going to take four, five years. After MTEC also, it takes four years, three and a half, four. Hardly any students will sum up and complete and go away uh, from IIT after four years after, M after MTEC also. That means it is a very long commitment. What after PhD? Are IITs providing the placement services to PhD students? Answer is no. I'm telling you no. I have my own experience. In fact, I fought with that placement cell once when I was in PhD. That why not uh, no placement for PhD students? Most focus is on BTEC, followed by MTEC, no focus on PhD. That is one of the reasons. So what to do after PhD? If I've done my PhD very nicely and now I'm applying in, let us say, IIT system, IIT say, no, we want people PhD from abroad. We don't want PhD from India. We want that you should have PhD from abroad. So even if you want to become faculty in IIT system, you should have PhD from abroad. That again is one of the very important reason why students hesitate doing PhD from India. कि जब जॉब भी पीएचडी अब्रॉड वाले को मिलेगी तो फिर विल डू अब्रॉड ये कुछ रीजंस हैं आफ्टर एनालिसिस दिस इज माय फाइंडिंग आई एम गोइंग टू शेयर दिस माय वीडियो विद माय फ्रेंड्स इन आईटी सिस्टम सो दैट समथिंग कुड बी डन मे बी द रिसर्च ऑफ द प्रोफेसर्स मेड विजिबल टू स्टूडेंट्स एंड अपॉर्चुनिटीज आर प्रोवाइडेड टू स्टूडेंट्स आफ्टर पीएचडी वेयर दे विल गेट जॉब्स इंडस्ट्रीज लिंकेजेस आर टू बी डेवलप्ड मोर स्कॉलरशिप इज टू बी प्रोवाइडेड मोर फंडिंग इज टू बी प्रोवाइडेड समथिंग लाइक आईटी गांधीनगर इज डूइंग सो दैट इट बिकम्स मोर ल्यूक्रेटिव बट फॉर यू द बेस्ट इज एक्सप्लोर अपॉर्चुनिटीज इन टॉप यूनिवर्सिटीज इंडिया अब्रॉड एवरीथिंग वंस द अपॉर्चुनिटीज कम ऑन टेबल चूज वट इज बेस्ट फॉर यू I think that is the best way. बाकी आप यूर पीडिया के मेंटर्स के साथ मिलें उनके साथ इंटरेक्ट करें क्या क्या अपॉर्चुनिटीज आपके पास हो सकती हैं दे विल गाइड यू एंड अकॉर्डिंगली यू डिसाइड फॉर योर सेल्फ होप आई मेड माई पॉइंट क्लियर ऑल दी वेरी बेस्ट थैंक यू